We up? We live? I think so. Ah. Hey guys, how's it going? Ah, oh my god, TikTok's yelling at me. What just happened? I'm so sorry. Oh god. Wait. Wait, no, really, what happened though? Okay, it's in my draft. Ooh. Hi, I'm learning TikTok like an old person. Uh, luckily, my girlfriend is a 20 something who is lives her life on TikTok, so she's been a wonderful help. But if you are on TikTok, you should find me uh, at AFK with Danger Gray. Um, that said, we're here to do a YouTube live stream. So we are going to push more of the story forward. I've been playing some catch up. I actually took most of yesterday off. I was off with my family. Uh, I went to see Bruce Springsteen play. I took my, my sister and I, who is a producer in uh, L.A. out here in Hollywood, uh, took my mom and her sister to see uh, Bruce Springsteen. Uh, because it kind of felt like, I don't know, I saw the tickets on sale and her birthday was, it was going to be for her birthday in December. And then uh, that he canceled his concerts because his mom was uh, sick, I think, and, and on her way out, which is incredible that his mom was still alive. Anyway, not why you're here. Uh, <laughs> let's play AFK Journey. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm mostly caught up. Uh, good talk. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Gonna be that kind of night. <laughs> uh, I did just break the 110, uh, level, uh, cap, finally. Got everybody up to 120, finally. Woo! Uh... And the guild is back on top. We are slaying it, man. I'm so proud of these guys. Ooh, down to 7%. Mm -hmm. I like want to attack, but I don't want to be giving away nothing. Uh... Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll just throw a couple out there real quick. That's fine. A little free to play ain't gonna ain't gonna give away anything. Tell you that much. <laughs> what I'm using is not the same as what our our main guys are using. So I think our secrets are safe here. Um. But yeah, that looks right to me for. Let's get corn in here too. Do a round of melee. I need to either use Rowan or get rid of him too. Almost want to just throw him in here just to use him. Let's see how long they survive. See if two can help. Two uh, supports. And again, this is just for little old me right now. But it might help you guys. 
if you're not sure what to use in battle drills, come on. They're falling over still. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Right, we used up Valor. All I needed to do right now, I'll get the rest in later. Okay. Oh, which, by the way, how we doing here? Still up there. Killing it, man. These guys are, ugh, I'm so proud of our team. Ash on top right now. Great job, guys. Incredible job. All right, now let's go work on catching up to these fuckers. <laughs> Cause damn. We are, I mean, even at the pace that I've been able to keep, which has been, you know, not breakneck because I've had so much to do with, uh, it's everywhere really. It's not even worth, it's a laundry list at this point of shit. Um, including obviously setting up the guild at Global Launch and, Abyssal Expedition in AFK Arena. There's so much going on in AFK Arena too right now, right? It feels like they're almost competing with AFK Journey, which is madness. And yet, it kind of feels that way, just to me. I don't know. Uh, but between everything, uh, I've still been able to keep up to uh, top 10% on S1 uh, in AFK stages. So like, fuck yeah, right? Um, but we should be up top five, I think, is where Zebo is, so we will push for that. Let's, uh, let's get in some Skyclops. Um, by the way, the reason you want to use Vala when the boss is under 50% is that her abilities, uh, she will use her swords when a boss is under 50%, which is her most effective, uh, time. It's the most effective time that you'll have Vala. Um... At least 
on that boss. I think I think almost universally she does more damage when when uh, when the enemy is below 50% damage. So let's let me see something here. Let's see how close we are. We're not that far away. So let's try and maybe push some AFK stages. Yeah, let's see if we push some AFK stages and then we can get a little bit of dust that way. I hate how auto battle covers the screen like that. It's like, why? What up, Gabe? I did not, bro. I try. I I slammed through thirty-five faction tower worth of cards. So that's none of them were close to the next to the five, right? So I five times or no seven times pushed through all the way up to the five on the faction towers. I got 35 more cards. Did not ever get one. Um, and if you mean since that, no, I've barely played AFK Arena since that. Mm. I'm excited to though. I accidentally, apparently when I was logging in just now and I was clicking through, I clicked on the accept trial thing on fucking Eugene. So now I have Eugene. And I forgot to, I was going to take that other guy at the end of the day and forgot to. So uh, I don't have him either, which is obnoxious. I was going to take both of them and shred through the hypo tower. I should be able to make a bunch of headway, though, even with just Eugene. Plus, I'm only one copy away from ascending him anyway. So that's exciting. Plus my lava tune. Yeah, my hypo tower is going to get bumped like really, really soon. How are you, man? I haven't sent a thing out. I gotta send a thing out and tell people I'm online. Let me do that right now. Lucilla helped a lot? Really? Yeah, you have her built, huh? Damn. I've been thinking about maybe, and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to swap Brutus for Laika, so I don't know why I keep teasing this idea, but um, I've been in my head thinking I could swap Flora, who is 9F and 1 star, with Lucilla. 
and then just build Leica and get to keep Brutus. But because otherwise I may never get Lucilla, to be honest with you. Like I really may not. For I just can't see myself I can't see myself building her. I don't feel like I'm gonna have time. You know? I mean I'm still way nowhere near done with lava. Yeah, I believe in this team in this lineup. Let's just see how far I can go. And the answer is not very. <laughs> Damn. That was quick. Okay, we might need to get that dust to get uh, somebody up to 130 here because holy good God. Okay, well, let's ditch that fancy way of doing this. Let's go to the old stack house. Okay. Uh, and we'll go to iron wall. Okay. So iron wall is the best. Uh, it's a really good, anyway. It's a really good artifact for pushing content. Holy God, what is happening? I don't buy it. I don't believe that this team is that good. I've been crushing other ones. I just I, I have a hard time believing that team is that insanely strong. Let me see what people did about it. Okay. Um The classic corner stack. Okay. Well, for starters, let's pull some heroes because I think we can. No, man. Eugene's going to be awesome. I really hope he's awesome, and I think he's going to be. I fully believe in him. Don't say that. You're killing me. Okay. Okay, so where are we at with it then? Okay, then we're going to buy it because I think buying it will let us uh, get what I need. So let's just do it. How much is that? 141 and 141 is, oh, it's going to be like right there. Hold on. No, we can do it. We got it. Okay, cool. Uh, Sick, man. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is going to be so good. Not bad. Another 6K HP. Okay, so she had 124 HP, and uh, I don't remember, like, 2,500 of these, I think. 2,500 and 124. Okay, and so we got, like, 15. All right, so we just upped everything about. Uh, wow, this went up a lot. Um, like 10 to 12% boost on all the stats for one hero. So that's significant. Um, let's see if it helps. Yeah, man, I really hope that... Uh, that Eugene's amazing. Yes, you're right. We could. Yeah, Temp Rift. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, he does. He shines in Abex, no doubt. No doubt. Boy, that secret travel log looks so good. Unfortunately, it's not for the likes of us. <laughs> us little free-to-plays. Gotta keep up with that. And we do. Um... Mm-hmm. Coco. Rococo, 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 Rococo. Rowan. And... Who was it? Moki, I think. Yeah. For sure. Maybe like here. This looks right. Yes. What? Oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah, well, you know, I get that. Um, actually, I could pull some beasts, though. I'll have to do an AFK arena stream soon. Like, just arena. All right, just trying to share this link with the, sorry guys, I'm just trying to share the link with the Discord. If you're not on the Discord, you should join us at the Danger Gray Discord. Uh, it has been a little neglected just this past week because there's been so much crazy shit going on, but I am damn near caught up, as I was saying earlier, and uh, and we're going to start, we're, we're, we'll start getting that shit popping again, trust. So... Um, but it seems we're growing anyway. It's amazing. I love I love having everybody get in there, and we've got some of the the coolest, most like just some of my favorite people in in the um, community. It's all my favorite people in the community are there or about to be. So <laughs> um, 
And also you get notifications when I do go live. Um, one of the best things about it is that it's a space where you can ask a question. And if I'm not around to give the answer, like I haven't been this week, uh, there's lots of really informed people there that also know the answers to things. So it's a great space for that. Uh, it's in the links, I think, for this uh, comments here. And the Analytica Discord is, an, is a huge journey community uh, where you can find the answers to absolutely everything. Um, and we are building a, our whole mission with Analytica is to create a more positive, healthy gaming space where people can be into end game and competitive things without all of the, you know, the passive aggression and the hostility that comes with end game players a lot of times. We are striving to create like a, a place where positivity and acceptance are there along with mass communication about like passion for analytics and 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 game playing gaming. So even even casual players that just want to do better, uh, the Analytica Discord is also a place that you should definitely check out. Come on, I thought this team was invincible. What just happened? <laughs> what up, Jay Austin? General rule. Yeah, I mean, um, sure, tanks in front, <laughs> you know. Um, tanks in front or your carry in front is what's going on here. So, like, Cecia isn't exactly a tank, but she is actually, she's pretty tanky for a marksman. And she's also my carry in the sense that she is 10 levels higher than everybody else right now. So she's she's up front because she can take the damage. So yeah, there's that. But then a lot of it is going to do with the, keeping them in range of each other for buffs, right? So you want to keep... Uh, so Smokey is a really great uh, area maker for where you want to keep your heroes because... The smoke is obvious, you know, you can see right where everything is. So keeping your heroes within that is going to help tremendously. Um. <laughs> Rowan needs to be near somebody that you want him to give that energy potion to. So his potions heal, but they also, he has one on his cart, which... When your heroes get to, I think it's 600 energy, they'll get 400 more from him to get them straight to 1,000, which means they can use their ultimate at 600 energy. So you want to have him near the hero you want to use it. And in some cases, you might even put him like over here to make sure that it goes to Cecia and not to someone else, if that makes sense. Uh, and now see they're out of range of Smokey, so... I'd want to move smoke up like that, although he's probably going to die. Eh, yeah, he did. <laughs> They're pumping out a lot of damage. It might be time to, to go push the story forward like I was thinking. I just wanted to get up to a little bit closer to wherever we can push to as a max, you know? Um... Let me drop him off. Put Thorin on here. Come on, guys. Oh, man. They were actually getting pretty close. Oh, yeah, Gabe. You do that thing where you save all your baits. That's so clever. It is really, really smart, man. There, copy link. Yep. Oh. 
Let's try it with the iron wall. Like I said, it's a really strong one uh, for pushing content. Hmm, we were really close on the first time. We seem to be getting farther. Maybe, no, Rowan is the, the reason Rowan's so great is he can help with the spot healing when shit gets really, really strong right at the start of a fight. See how that does. Come on, guys. Come on. There it is. Come on, CC. Yeah, blast them. Shit. All right. Well, I gave you a shot, Vipe, but uh, I think it might be time to go back to because Shakir will take that down. Watch this. Let's do, or maybe Eddie. Eddie'd be so good here. Let's go Smokey and Eddie. Come on, Eddie Cruz, baby Cruz. Let's go. Shit. How'd they break through that so fast? Damn. All right, hold on. Maybe... I guess for most of them, this is a 20 level gap, which is starting to get bigger, you know? Let's try putting on Tundra as the higher up level. And, um, yeah. Okay. And instead of Smokey, though, let's go with uh, Coco. And Rowan, I think, was doing more than I even realized. More than I even knew. See, okay, okay. Oh man, she still just bit it. Yuck. All right, hold up. We were doing pretty good there for a sec. Again, it might be time to. Uh... Almost. Oh, again, that was almost. That felt close.
Now I have a vendetta. <laughs> um, no, it's a lot less RNG. In fact, you can't actually put it on auto battle um, to try a level over and over. You might notice I'm not doing that. It's because you can't. You, what you can you can only auto battle until you get defeated, and that's because most things you can kind of work through if you're willing to put the time in. Um, it is not nearly as RNG, I would say. It's a lot more skill based. Oh, nice, we got that one thirty five web. Let's uh, put that stuff on first. I think, didn't we? Am I crazy or did we just get a... Hold on. Didn't we just get a chest? You absolutely did. The fuck? What the fuck? Uh, okay. I guess we didn't. That's weird. Okay. I'm baffled. All right. Um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that. Okay. Um, yeah. And then. Supports. Tanks. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. And Wow, the Labyrinth is still every other week. That's crazy to me. Um, they need to make Labyrinth rewards every week. That's for sure. Yeah, 100% that needs to happen. So we could... Doing good on acorns, really. Got that thorn. Oh, we need one more. Well, we need three more, but well, we need five more. But um, have three apiece already on Rowan and Hewan, which is nice. And. We're in a good spot to go do the beast, I think, as well. I don't want to try and beat this really quick, though. We were stuck on it for long enough. It's, like, bugging me.
There she is. Hewan went off. If Hewan goes off, it's you're in good shape usually. If you can get Hewan to get a heal off, because then everyone's like set for a while and they can kind of do their thing. Yep. 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 <laughs> Victory. Just needed to heal the shit out of it. Now we're cruising. cruising. I love it. There goes the announcement that we're even live here. Ha! Okay. Okay, cool. I'm all yours. <laughs> so, ah. Uh. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, hi buddy. I'm working, but hi. <laughs> hi. I'm li yeah, I'm live on YouTube. Yes, yes, little brother, I'm live on YouTube right now. My little brother is five <laughs> and waving to me from Pakistan. It's my little brother-in-law. <laughs> Today is the end of Eid, which is the end of fasting, I believe. He said, are you live on your YouTube right now? <laughs> uh, 
Okay, we defeated plenty of those of those baddies that were giving us trouble. Well, now we're close to 500. Let's let's go do something else for a bit, though. <laughs> let's push this plot forward, eh? Hey, buddy. What's up? Hi. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> That he hopes I get a million subscribers. I said, me too, buddy. We'll get there. Oh, he's so cute. He'll be six in June. Yep. Okay. We got some diamonds. Not enough, though. All right. Let's go hit this plot then, huh? I think it's time. I guess we could do we could do one round of dream round real quick. Let's let's go get we'll clear this. This is such a great idea, by the way. Um, the fact that they make it so that you can you can change who who is what level when you get in here. So, someone asked me for a, an overall dream realm guide, and. I don't think that's a bad idea, honestly. I think I think just some basics of Dream Realm could be really helpful for some people. So why don't we? Why don't we? Why don't we do that? <laughs> so generally, in Dream Realm, you are gonna want to kind of know who your top DPS or two, right, are. And one of the first things you want to do when you come in here is make sure that your top DPS, whoever it is, whoever they are, is your highest level hero. And you can do this when you're in campaign as well. You open up this little screen over here. A lot of people don't even know what's over here, but there's a few things. The first one, this is the boss to show who... Uh... I always confuse which one's which. So this is showing who the boss is going to attack when it says it's a little picture of a baddie and the arrow's pointing at us. I mean, makes sense, right? Uh, and then this shows who your guys are attacking. And it's much more interesting when you're not fighting one hero. You can see who's going to go where, that kind of thing. Um, but it's very straightforward. The yellow ones are who you're attacking, and the red ones is who's attacking whom from your side. Uh, then the I usually leave it on the red ones because I find that to be the most useful but also the yellow one can be in, it can be useful if you need to know who your guys are going to run at that's someone asked earlier about positioning how important is positioning in general uh or are there general rules to it and one of the most important things is knowing where your characters are going to run to right that's why you sometimes if we're in a fight with an uh, with a team and i'll show you this in a bit but uh like i'll put shakir back here or something because he's a maniac right so he would just run straight ahead uh, and attack whomever. And so he'll run out of range of Smokey, for example, is one of the biggest things he does. That's why I put him back here, though. Then by the time the enemies run at us and we run at the enemy, he'll meet them somewhere over here instead of deep out here. And that way uh, he's within healing range. So um, that's why I like to keep it on... Uh, this one sometimes, the yellows, because I can see who's attacking whom. Um, anyway, th that's one of the things that's over here. This changes what you see about the heroes, right? So this can change what, you can see what class they are if you're not sure, or what faction they are if you're not sure, if you don't know those things yet. Um, class is probably the most helpful for people because people probably can figure out faction, but faction's a good thing, especially if you, it might, you might leave it on faction to help you remember to try and get that faction bonus, because maybe you forget, and that's always over here. You can see the leaf over here. That shows that I've got one, two, three heroes in a faction bonus over there. Um, but if I add another Mauler, for example, if we were to, uh, put in Eddie Odie sorry his name is Eddie but they changed it to Odie right before launch it's been very hard for 
the fan base who was here before the launch because we love Eddie. Eddie is the man, but now they've made him Odie, and it's kind of like Garfield's sidekick, you know? Anyway, this is, if you hear me say Eddie, that's who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Odie. I'm trying to learn. Okay, uh, so we've got the faction bonus over here. Uh, so now you see that we're up to four little leaf parts, So and we're up to the 18% bonus here, right? Which is great. Uh, and then, of course, one more would be 22 so you keep an eye on that over here. So maybe keeping faction over here is a good way to remind yourself to check that sometimes. I don't know. Um, and then and then we come to where I was uh, about to show you. And just so you know, this one is the uh, clear everything button. This will make everybody just go off the board so you can start fresh. So if you're like doing stuff and you're like, oh, I don't remember what it was, and you just want to, you're like, well, let me start again. You just hit that and they'll go away and if you accidentally hit that and you're because you're trying to do what i'm about to show you how to do and you accidentally hit this and you're like god ah, i don't remember who was where it, it, if they were in the position that you came in from don't worry about it you can still reset them you won't be able to get back to what you just had if you were messing with them but if you just go out and come back in they'll be saved in whatever position the last time you attacked was so hopefully that'll help you if that happens now, this button is the most important of all these because what this one does, the just the helmet without an arrow, is lets you quickly choose who is what uh, on the resonating crystal. So this will let me take Merrily over here, who is generally almost always, is always, the top DPS for all Dream Realm battles is Merrily, if you don't know. And you can swap her with... CC it. Now, if you have a low Merrily, let's say you're just starting out and uh, you didn't know about Merrily till this video and you get a couple copies of her right after that, then uh, you'll maybe you have an almost ascended or an ascended CC, right? She's Merrily, you still want to use Merrily, probably. You should at least check it out because even at a couple copies or one copy, she's fire in here because her whole thing is single target DPS. She attacks a single target and does a bunch of damage to it. So, She's very, very good at that, as is Odie. Um, so, Cecia is more of a, a group attacker. She puts out, you know, her Mr. Carlisle, and he puts thorns around everybody, and then suddenly you've got great crowd control with the thorns, and they're all getting damaged, so she's got doing AoE damage as well, AoE area of effect. Uh, so... While Cecia does some decent damage in Dream Realm, she's not ideal for it usually. But if she's ascended, depending on ascension, she may still be your top DPS here. In which case, maybe you do want her your top one. You should play with it. But you should always keep whomever your top DPS is. Give them the level boost. So, and then you know, the next time I get a level boost, I'll have two people, then, and then I'll have three people, and then I'll, and that's how it's gonna go. Because right now, the main block for me is dust. It's not XP. Got more XP than I am able to do anything with unfortunately so that's the first thing you want to do when you come into dream realm 10 minutes later is hit this helmet boom there she is we put her we put her on made sure she's the top person great now uh we are gonna talk about just some basic setups so basic things for dream realm is that Smokey is a real is the best healer for it because he has attack buffs. Also, let me see what chat's doing. Chat have any questions? Nope. Good. Okay. Um, if you have questions, chat, please hit me with it. Uh, but this I've gotten this question a lot, so I'm trying to trying to uh, give it to the people. So I'm gonna get some water too. <laughs> So Smokey is the best support for this because of his attack buffs as well as the very steady stream of uh, strong like AoE healing that he does. He does heals, basically a heal over time. Hot, as we call it in EverQuest or WoW. Uh, heal over time, H-O-T. So he's got a really strong uh, AoE heal that's constantly going with that smoke everywhere. Uh, but the, the best thing that he does is he buffs the attack. So you'll actually find, even on when you're very far advanced in Dream Realm, a lot of times you'll do better with him in, even if you're not taking much damage at all, because of the attack buffs he provides. So 
you should definitely start with Smokey if you're looking to get heals, if you're having trouble with... Most people right now are still probably dying in Dream Realm. They're probably not at, at endless mode yet. So Smokey's where you're going to want to start for heals to keep them up. Um, then primary damage would be your highest ascended heroes. Like, I have Shakir in here because he is my only hero that is... Here, let's let's clear the board for a second. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Let's clear the board for a second. So, Shakir is the highest ascended hero that I own, as you can see. So, he will make an excellent DPS, probably, because he also is a decent DPS in here. He was actually meta for Dream Realm before they took away the ability to fight manually in here. We used to be able to manual Dream Realm for like the first 10 months of the game. All last year we could manual Dream Realm, so that was a real bummer when they got rid of it. We still aren't sure why. They haven't really said. <laughs> um, but anyway, you used to be able to, to play Dream Realm, not just watch it. But... Uh, now that he we can't manual him and move him through so the best thing about him is you could take his ult and you can send it through your team when you're doing campaign levels and stuff if you haven't done it you should try it when you uh, when it comes to his ultimate you manual it and then you place it like like he's swinging on your teammates because he'll provide that haste to the whole team and the and uh, it's it's really great uh, ideally you want to hit the enemies and some of your teammates but um I'm going to put him in because he is my highest ascension, so he's probably going to do a good amount of damage. He's also um, really good for a couple of fights here, one of them being Skyclops because of all the ads. Um, the ads are the things that Skyclops pops up, right? The trash. Um, so then Merrily is going to be the highest DPS in Dream Realm in general for all the fights. She is the highest DPS hero. So you want to be building her. Uh, if you haven't seen my wishlist video, I would highly suggest it. I talk about each of the heroes very quickly. Uh, I cover the, the whole span of them in about seven minutes, I think. Um, most of them, anyway. Uh, so anyway, we got Merrily uh, in here. And then Cecia is still doing a lot of damage for me because she's one of my highest ascended heroes. Um, but also... I think my Odie just got to a point where, hey, I said it right. Um, he just got to a point where he is also red now. So we're going to try keeping him in instead of her. Um, but for this fight, especially because Skyclops has those ads, she may end up being the best option for us. We'll have to experiment with it. And then we come to, like I was saying, Smokey as the healer. And finally, we want someone to debuff the boss if possible. Someone that'll make it so that our hits hit harder. And the best hero for that is Kruger. So Kruger is, that's his whole bag, is he brings down the boss's defenses and makes it so that your characters do more damage to to another, to an enemy. So this is what we're going to start with here. There's a lot of variations that you can do here. Coco, I have heard, is doing very well for people. Coco is a wonderful new hero. We've only had her for about three weeks now, but boy, is she powerful. She has an attack buff as well as the uh, healing support. She, she does like damage reduction, I think, rather than actual straight up heals. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Well, I used to know. Hold on. So she does damage reduction. Yep. 45% damage reduction for 12 seconds. That's massive. That's so big. It's 55 already for me, and she's not even that high level yet. 55%. Okay, so that's the max. So whatever level we have her at, is, it's already maxed the damage reduction. The next couple level ups only add to the life drain. She also adds life drain. It's pretty great. And a 10% attack buff. Boom. Can you ask for more? Not really. From a support, that's pretty fantastic. She also feeds the weakest ally, healing them. So she heals. Look, she does heal. And grants them 10% attack boost on top of the other one. Amazing. And she's got a damage ability too. With stuns. So that's crowd control. So she's stunning the ground. Which is, I mean, gosh, she does everything really really strong hero i would build her asap i already took unfortunately i took kruger off my list and put her on because you have to balance it right and i've got eddie and kruger on the list right now uh and so i took kruger off and put coco on because i need her to get built so 
um, it's it's hard to do because Kruger is also really essential, but that's kind of the game right now, right? That's just where we're at. So uh, I'll feel it out on my way up, the free-to-play life, but I do think Coco takes precedent, especially once you have a Kruger like I do. I'm glad I got him built up. It makes me more comfortable with switching him off for a while. So um, that said, we're, we'll try this with him in first, and then next we'll try putting her in instead of him, or maybe we'll put her in instead of Shakir even. See how that goes. But before we start, we want to make sure that, remember, Merrily is our top DPS. And she is. Oh, it just isn't showing up. So that's another thing that will happen uh, is if you change it in here right now, at least on my at game, it's not updating in real time. So uh, let's back out. We'll come back in. And, et voila, she is 130. So. Let's see what we do. Oh, and also you can put Smokey in the front or you can even, you can scoot him to the side a little bit, which gives room for Merrily to use this spot sometimes. Um, if you, for some reason, want her to be able to. On this fight, I think it makes sense to have him up front. On the Yeti fight, I like to clear some front space so that she has room to land there in case the snowman is gonna happen soon because then the snowman is closer for you guys to be able to attack. I hope that makes sense, but you want to have room for her to, uh, to to jump to these front squares. Don't fill them up with, uh, you know, DPS like Eddie or healers like Smokey. They're just going to stand there the whole time because then when she's jumping around as a snowman, she might end up back here and your whole team has to come over here to get her instead of getting her up front over here, right? It, it actually does make a big difference. You'll, you'll see if you, if you run it enough times and long enough. But we've been doing this for a year now, so. <laughs> um, okay, let's see how this goes. Pity? Oh, pity. Yeah, a, a pity timer. So a pity, Tosh, that's a great question. It's, um, it's pity. And it's, uh, at a certain number of cards, you are guaranteed to get a hero out of pity for the person, right? That's where it comes from. The pity. It's called a pity timer. Like, oh man, it's been 30 pulls and you still don't have a S tier hero. I pity you. Here, take one. That's that's where the the term comes from. Does that help, Tosh? You with me? For sure. Woof. I don't think we're getting much farther on that one tonight. Damn. I guess we can try one more time. But yeah, we just got rocked. Um, Thorin is the only tank you'd ever want to use in Dream Realm, by the way. Thorin is so generally you don't need to tank these but you don't need to tank these bosses. It's not going to help. It's not going to keep them from doing damage to your main heroes at all. Um you they can't be tanked in a traditional sense because so many of their abilities are AoE anyway. They're going to affect everyone. Um but Thorin is a little different because he adds damage modifiers to encounters. So he's adding like an 18% or something damage modifier. 18%? Wait. Oh no, 13% of the more damage 
which goes up to 17%, it looks like. Okay. So yeah, at max level, it's 17. Uh, to start, it's 13. And at 131, it becomes 16% damage increase. Anyway, um, he adds a damage. So that can help considerably, especially if you have a hero that's not doing a whole bunch of damage. So, um, and he does help, especially once you get into Mythic Plus, he's a great add in here because he does that chain thing and he'll be able to keep like your Merrily for alive for a lot longer, for example, or something like that. Um, so that's a good use of him. Let's uh, let's just see if this helps at all. Damn, just barely. It survived the laser. Come on, gang. Oh, no. Oh, the next one's going to wipe us out for sure. Come on, 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 come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God, she's up. Yeah, 20. I don't think we're going to get much farther, though. That was good, though. That was good. You see what happened? So by changing the artifact, uh, I was able to get them all to live through that. So let me let me show you the difference here. So I wish I don't understand why these give only the shortened version in here and you have to go which it's, it's really I feel like the in battle is where you should be able to read the full version, but it's not. If you come here, you will see oh we got equipment though, that's cool. What's this? Ah, I wish I could select everything. Uh, yeah. Or this. But support uses it, their weapon strength to judge their, a lot of their heals and stuff, so... Or, or my rogues. We'll go support. Okay. Nice job. All right. Hey. All right. Let's see. What's this do? Yep. Plus healing. Good. Good for it. I tell everybody in my forging guide to only do ups that are uh, 10 levels or more, but I've gotten it to where pretty much everything is only needing fives. So. So before I forget where we were, let's, uh, so I was taking you here to artifacts where you can read the full explanation of what these artifacts do. So we had been using Star Shard, which is the ultimate DPS. This is the one that will help you with damage more. Anytime you want to do maximum damage, this is the best artifact for that in the game. You want to use it all the time for Anywhere you need to get the highest damage numbers above everyone else, unless you're dying, you, this is what you want to use, Star Shard. So uh, every four times a hero casts their ultimate, then uh, a flame wave is unleashed. It also reduces the target's attack speed, which is nice. Um, and it increases the damage. Captain uh, 90%. Okay, so yeah, so it does the flame weave spell, but then also it adds haste and HP to your team. So the haste and the extra damage end up helping a bunch. But then we've I swapped it to the awakening spell, which is instead of getting haste and HP, we're getting defense, physical defense and magic defense. So with that extra 22% of defense, Plus, wait, uh, it heals as well. It's the first one we got, right? You guys are familiar with it because you had it right from the start of the game. So uh, the Awakening spell adds defense, so magic defense and physical defense. Um, 
And because I swapped to that, uh, we were able to just barely live through that first laser beam, whereas it was killing us before without the extra boost to the defense just because of the level that my heroes are at and the difficulty of the boss. So playing around with artifacts can help in that way. Um, this one also throws heals at your guys, which is great. So it'll heal them over time, which is awesome. Um, for burr, every five, so five seconds after the battle starts, it'll restore the three weakest heroes HP by 10% every 10 seconds if they're still alive to receive it. So, yeah, so I, I started with that a bit, Johnny, but it's a great question, man. Um, so, I, it, it, find out. <laughs> is the answer, the answer is, is um, both of them are the right answer, depending on the hero and how different the ascension is and what you're fighting i mean just find out but uh, it definitely there are plenty of times when using a further ascended hero will get you better results in fact we can we can test that right now right here so i also want to test this though let me see if we switch to star shard if i if in this formation with thorin out here now if really they do die still through the the first laser Let's find out. And then we'll swap in uh, somebody who's further ascended. The two of them died. Three of them died. Yeah. So, yeah, they can't live through without without that artifact on. So... Um, So with this artifact in, let's so here's a case of Shakir is more ascended than Eddie, Odie, but Odie would be a better hero for this boss probably but let's find out it's just you just test man just find out nice to see you by the way oof brutal Ruger's already down Come on, where the heels at? Damn. So living till basically the second beam, the cure did five hundred K. Right. And one last time with Odeo. Actually, maybe one more time after this, we'll try Coco in there. Maybe they can live through with Star Shard with Coco in because of the damage reduction. But is Star Shard probably won't out DPS uh, the reduction that Kruger gives it, but you never know. Jesus. Ouch. This is one thing that really annoys me all the time is you, there's no exit button. You can't just cancel the battle. It's like, you know, I feel like they'll probably add that in eventually, but maybe not. Oh, you know what? We could do this. 
because he doesn't even have his chain anyway, so there's no reason to be doing that. And also, she could be over there anyway. It would make a big deal. So... We'll even do this. Delays him getting there just a little bit. Damn. Not good. So positioning does matter. Yeah, I wish we could manual still. It was so much more fun when you could manual things. Like Vatra and I would really, really get into in season. Uh, just all the different ways. Vatra and season are two of the best manual players of this game. Besides myself, of course. Uh, really, really wizards with this with this stuff. Um, and it was so much fun chasing each other in this mode trying to figure out the best ways to to line things up and now you just have to sit and wait and watch instead of getting to like you know play the game right like play it uh actually let's do this let's go no. Coco. Okay, so we're back to the uh, awakening spell. Man. Huh. But Smokey lives through it with the other positioning. Hold on, check this out though. That's weird, a little bit. Yeah, Thorin gives, on this fight, Thorin gives Skyclops something to smack at. So he actually is tanking the boss here, which is interesting. Usually you don't need to be tanking these bosses, but it does seem like he is able to tank this boss in a way that helps. That's weird. So 20% was a pretty good pull for us, right? For where we're at. So we're happy with it. Now that we've done this, let's go do Lone Gaze, huh? I want to help you guys out there because I think I have just about the best free-to-play Lone Gaze that there is right now. Pretty sure. Let's go find out. Yeah, but Clips, I don't think... I mean, I'll do it just for you, but I don't think that Hewen... Hewen doesn't bring enough... 
with Hewen, you're just completely sacrificing all the attack buff that Smokey has. You know what I mean? Like, and in this case, the uh, faction buff as well. But yeah, we'll try it. Maybe with the cocoa reduction there. Maybe. But you see, we're not even close to hitting 20. And they're already... Yeah, no. Cause she, Smokey gives so much attack boost that it's worth having him in here. But once you bring in Hewen, you're sacrificing that. Now, we could add Hewen on top of Smokey or something. But I wouldn't give up Smokey. Um... change just that see what happens So we did some more there, got farther. Not really worth more more finding out, but um, I think that's that's an interesting point, YouTuber. Clips. Any reason why? Yeah, sure. Because we were just because we were in Dream Realm just now. You know, you can change these around, right? <laughs> Right? <laughs> um, and yeah, the answer is because we were in we were in in her uh, her zone. Dream realm is like her domain. That's where she's the dominant hero. So uh, she, you want to level up the hero that does the best work for you in there, wherever you are. You want to have that hero on top. Um, who's my favorite hero? Well, that's a, that's a tough question. Uh, that's a question with uh, a lot of, a lot of backstory to it, which I don't want to, I don't know if I want to, um, I have, I have a lot of favorite heroes though. I... My favorite hero is Shakir. Which is just a bit difficult lately because of how much they've, what they've done to the hero. But, uh, 
I am very hopeful that they are listening to the lore community and going to revert at least all the heroes to their backstories, give give us back their backstories. They're not going to change the plot again because the plot was fantastic and they probably won't fix that, but they I do believe are are hopefully going to to at least restore all of our heroes to have their stories again which would be wonderful and and you know kind of the least uh that from there i think we could we can move forward in a, in a really good way for the franchise as long as the heroes don't get erased so uh shakir is my favorite hero both in game and for his character lore as a mauler who was against war and against fighting <laughs> and uh, defected from the mauler army when he was instructed to execute a group of humans and then ended up leading that group of humans who were extremely loyal to him as a, a good man and, and a, finally a leader they could follow. And uh, he leads an outcast band of mercenary humans in the uh, in the wastes, I think, in the scorched expanse, um, which is like the Mahler Outlands. And there, it's like a group of humans that follow a, a Mahler wolf as their leader and are like would loyal to him to the death. Uh, All of whom have decided not to fight in the war because they 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 just are against the war. They're like conscientious objectors to the war between humans and Maulers. The corruption here is even worse than in Taran Village. The ley lines determine the flow of magic power. It's complicated as a river and just as hard to understand. It seems that the ley lines here are directly connected to the Lucent Tree. So the effects of the corruption are more pronounced here. What about this Miss Hewan that Granny Fennel was talking about? Since Lover's wish has become like this, is she still around? The rain hasn't stopped. She is still here. Yes, the warm rain. This rain seems to wash away all the distracting thoughts in my heart. But where is she? There's not even a soul to be seen around here. Should we try calling her name? Granny Fennel said that she's very shy. Will it scare her away? I suggest not acting rashly. I feel a powerful magical presence coming from the pavilion at the center of the lake. Why don't we go there first? Yeah, the Brutus voice is really disappointing so far, isn't it? I really hope they change the actor on that. Uh, one sec, guys. I'm grabbing my account number. Uh, Farlight wanted it. I'm not sure why. But I do think they are going to share the lore video pretty soon, which is very exciting. Look at you, girl. Miss Ewan, I know you're here. We've been tasked to ask for your help. In order to save the villagers, we require your dewdrops. I'm sorry. I I can't leave. Mm. If the rain stops, the corruption will spread even more quickly. I I can't stop it. But I can delay it. Don't push yourself, Miss Hugh, and you sound exhausted. I'm afraid you won't be able to stop this corruption with your strength alone. If the rain stops, my friend, I must protect my friend. My friend is losing his memories. He will forget me, and even, 
become my enemy. Everyone, please save my friend. He's in the Floral Valley. Oh no, He's human! and fluffy. But right now, He's in a lot of pain. I will repay you. No matter what you need of me. I will help. Okay, girly. I can do that. Shoot, of course. Ali! What's up, bro? This guy right here. Uh, where's my, yeah. Bruh. <laughs> um. Oh yeah? Nice, hey Johnny. Cool, man. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been keeping up. I'm not at the front front of where free to plays are, but I'm I, I you know, I've took I didn't even start for the first like three days, so uh I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. With how busy I've been. I'm I'm good with it. Uh, I want to push a few more AFK progress stages to really feel like I'm caught up to where I feel like I am right now. And then uh, I'll do like a little like progress update thing in like a day or two, I think. Um. Let's check a thing really quick. Let's drop a bit more DPS in here. Everyone, you're not great. Materials are everywhere. By the title of the swordsman. Are you lost? Follow me. Uh, our puny little swings. <laughs> it's a shame, but it's what we got, man. That looks cool when he throws the chain out like that. Oh, wow. Vipe did a decent amount. Okay. Viperian. Hell yeah. Get it, man. Okay. All right. Let's try. I don't know if I have other magic damage users, though. I guess maybe... Um, yeah, that'd be it. Well, or Eddie. Why not, right? Sure. We could even do... No, that's good. Well, we could do like...
Everybody dying, man. It's killing me. That's tough. Ugh. Hate that. Maybe with the defensive artifact on. What up, Ali? What's up, bruv? Yeah, man, get that dust, dude. Did you high-five me yet? High-five me in-game, Ali. That's part of what I was doing. I was killing time till you showed up. I was about to DM you, and then I got distracted with uh, Halcyon. My dear friend. See if going defensive helps. Hey, they lived through that second hit. That's good. Just barely, though. But they did. What are you going to do? <laughs> good thing we got the big boys right now. I'm Farming is kind of my thing, right? Farm teams. I'm good at that. Very good at that. Yeah, I can't even bring four heroes or five heroes now, so we'll save them. Cool. Oh, one sec, Allie. Looking good. Who's our top? Man, those guys are shredding. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. Wait, Ali, I'm proud of you. Hold on. This is what I even came in here for. I got distracted. Wait. Yeah, there they are. Look at you guys, huh? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how about Uriah, though? Wow. I remember talking to him. He's, that's, that seemed like a good player. Good catch. But I'm so proud of you guys pulling up here. That's so rad, man. Good for you. That's awesome. Y and Z down there. Very rad. Hey, 
here I am. Aha! I know, man. It's awesome. Uh, high five me. Nice, dude. You guys are going to get to, like, endless, maybe. I don't know how long is left on this week, but, like, a l I mean, like, a good amount of time, I think, right? Where's my high five, bro? What are you doing, bro? Ali. Run up to me. Wait for it to turn into a high five button, then press it. I see you on the screen. <laughs> Do you see me? All right, all right, all right. That works. That works, dog. That works. Wait, don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Uh, hold on. I think I need to. I need to cancel that. I think. Yeah, they're okay now. Shoot, I saw it for a second a minute ago. I saw it. I did. What the hell? All right, all right come over here, away from the cairn. Over here, away from the cairn. Come over here. Come over here, Allie. Is the delay that long? It must be. All the way from here to Australia. <laughs> Allie, come over here. Oh. Yeah, get over here. Come here. Over here. Over here. Up here. Up here. Up here. Alright, that works. That works. That works. That works. That works. Okay, yep, yep. I got it. 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 Cannot perform. Alright. Cannot perform it at the oh we have to be at like the same height or some shit. There we go. Maybe? No. Oh my god. What? We have to get on flat ground somehow. There we go. Jeez. It's like you cannot have an ugly high five. Sorry, does not compute. High fives must be awesome. <laughs> All high fives have an awesome meter, which must be maintained. I got it. Did you not get it? I got it. You got it already. Look at your speed buffs, silly. Look up here. Up here. See this? Up here? Up top? It means you got it. Okay, what do we need? We need to come over here first. Let's go over there. Yeah. I mean, if you if you want the GM job, he doesn't. So if you want it, man, you should just do it. 
we'll just give it to you and he can be your assistant. Throwing it out there. Yeah, Gary, carry your ass. Yeah, man, I mean, whatever you want, dude. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, grub creature.
Nice, Odie. Nice, Ali. We got that all day. Whoa! Look at these chests. Okay. Hell yeah, dude. Let me equip some of those. Those are bad. Absolutely, all three of them are an upgrade. Okay, so I love doing this. I love doing this. You got. You got to let me do this. Okay, here on. Okay, so CC has been rocking. What's up, girl? How you doing? Okay. I am on top. You no. desire an audience, and what do you offer? Better grasp your servant in your hand, right? Very well. Off you go. Oops. <laughs> thing is sensitive. <laughs> uh... So she's been rocking this chest, which has 12k HP, 694 defense, and 25 crit resist. So 12.5, 700, and 25.3, right? 12.5, 25.3, and 700. So about 4.5% on the crit resist uh 400 defense and uh 7000 hp 7000 hp on so it was 139 146 i mean that's big man that's like five percent increase in health just from that piece and 400 defense on top from 2800 is like even bigger, right? That's like 15% defense increase just now. Cool. And then the other ones were what? Were rogue, I think, right? Yeah. So Rogue's already at 130, so it won't be quite as big a jump. Sure code of sure code of concealment. Concealment, that's neat. There are only two endings in Rustport. Join the silt and mud at the bottom of the harbor or slice your way out of all the filth. Nice. Rustport is where Nara is from. And uh, Sonia. Right on. So 918, 13K, 918, 8.5, 18.3. Eighteen, thirteen. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got almost six percent crit resist, three hundred defense out of it. Solid. And I don't remember who the last one was, but we'll just throw it on. Mage, right? Cool. See. That would be a great increase for them, except I'm just not using them, like, ever. I mean, the only exception to that is, uh, you know, Vipe. Like, sometimes, but, like, not even really. Not really. So, I'd rather do someone I'm using. I'll improve their healing. Yeah. Any improvement to healing is important. Okay.
Nice. Oh, you haven't forged yet? Oh man. Yeah, Travi, uh, have you watched my forging video? It's short. It's like nine minutes and you'll know what to do in the first three. I made a video on it. But I mean, the super short version is, uh... nice, my boy. I love getting uh, ones that I want, but I can't keep on my wish list with those. I actually like getting all those sometimes. Um, the short version of equipment is, I always keep my marksman the most updated of anybody uh, because they are your primary source of damage in all things, all the time. Marksmen are where your damage is coming from almost always right now in the game. So I keep my marksman tip top. That said, the main rule is don't upgrade anything that is only getting upgraded by five. You want to upgrade everything at least in multiples of 10 or more. So like these boots would be a great one because they're only 105 and I can go up to 120, right? Um, and this weapon would be a great c candidate because it's going, but the thing is, those are both on mage and mages. I personally am not using, you need to invest a lot in your mages to get them to have any use in the game. So in order to invest a lot in your mages, you're not going to be in this early game stage. So you're really not getting that much out of your mages unless you're wailing hard, in which case none of this is relevant. So I generally avoid upgrading mages and just let them upgrade themselves. Um, like when you get a piece, right? So the two that I keep most upgraded is Marksman and Support. I start by upgrading everything that is, can upgrade at least 10 levels um, between all of the factions that are all of the faction, all of the classes except for Mage uh, because I do use my Rogues a ton and my Tanks a ton. Uh, Warriors is kind of between Mage and everything else. Like you do use them, but like not that much. Like kind of depends on you, but they would be your second least important. Um, but then everything gets upgraded again. The level of 10 is the is the rule. So all these would be good candidates because these are all 110, 110, 110. But I wouldn't upgrade the chest or the bracelet. I would wait till I can do 125. That's that's forging. Except for and then once I get everything kind of caught up like that, then I go back to marksman and make it all tip top. And then I do the same thing for supports. And that's literally my entire forging video. I just did for you again in two and a half minutes, Ali, because I love you. <laughs> Nice, they got this. Yep. We'll crack those first, for sure. I mean, kind of obviously, right? BRB.
<laughs> okay, I'm back. Damn, CC goes down there. Okay. So, we'll come back to this. Let's keep pushing the plot. And or AFK stages, we should do some more of too. Get that waystone, get that chest. Let's do some pulls real quick too. used to be Ella. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I like this name change. This one was good, and they did it, you know, at a reasonable time when she wasn't already everyone's favorite hero for eight months or something. Hashtag Eddie, hashtag never forget. Yeah. That will help with my, well, with a couple things. We got places to use her.
Nice, tactical. Gotta be. Yeah. Maybe not. Oh my god. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's be reasonable about this. Still in range there. We got it. <laughs> nice. The one million mark is big, huh? Feels good, doesn't it? Good work. You're a proper daddy now. You're still totally free to play on here, right, Allie? I assume. I mean, you don't have to be. It's okay. I'm just curious. <laughs> the noble path is, uh, is a hard one to pass up. More Cocos, tell me about it. Coco's so good, you guys. Like those cookies, oh my god. I don't know where those came from. Right on, bruh.
Get up there, bad boy. Arden is the master. Get him! That's my boy. I love his victory thing too. He's like. That's awesome, dude. That's fun. That's fun. I like it. You know, Zebo is too. He's, he's a good bit ahead of me now. I got to catch up. He's doing so great. I'm proud of him. He's been slaying it. He has great content too, if you guys haven't seen. Uh, Zebo's content is excellent. Oh, we were gonna do Lone Gaze. We should do that, I can show you all. I think I have the highest free-to-play Lone Gaze right now. Highest one I've seen. And that was before my resonance just went up and levels, so. Should see what we can do with it. Can I run away from this? I'm going to, yes I can. It's her friend. That's Hewan's friend. We have to save him. How long do we have to stay here with this uh, horn leaf bear? He's too loud. He might attract his friends here. Sorry, it was loud. What are you scared <laughs> for? It's just one horn leaf. Bear. Travis, this is you and Riley. This fella is pretty tough, though. It keeps attacking itself and using the pain <laughs> to try and keep sane. <laughs> I love how it struggles. <gasps> Do we have any more of those pills? A few more, and I think it'll be under our control. <laughs> no more, boss. You know that there's something going on in Ryham. There aren't enough gem vine grapes to go around, and the Syndicate can't provide more pills. It's the cursed Adamant Syndicate again. What have they been feeding the Hornleaf Bears? That Hornleaf Bear is in pain. Could it be the friend that Hewan was speaking of? The fact that there are pills involved at all, I just think that they're not no in the right mistaking. mindset to be writing you fantasy. Said her friend was gentle and fluffy. That's exactly how you would describe a horn leaf bear. I've been saying that for for weeks now, and and now that that's part of it, like I'm, I mean that just underlines the point, you know. We cannot allow these people to harm the creatures of the forest. Fuck them up.
Well, victory is deserved. This is a leaf. Yeah? As far as I know, horn leaf bears give each other leaves as a sign of friendship. <laughs> and this leaf was originally placed over his heart. This is a leaf. Thank you, Iron. That's so great. He's a clever. What? But about the dialogue. <laughs> A gift of the leaves covering their hearts is how hornleaf bears express their gratitude. Now that is interesting dialogue. That is how nice. How do we explain to Hewen that we couldn't save her friend? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll think of something, bunny ears. I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> I agree. Eventually, all lies are discovered. Yep, tell her the truth. It's best to be honest with her. She's strong enough to handle it. Curses! Where else has the dirty tendrils of the Syndicate spread? Curses. Eomir, that leech! I will never forgive him. He's the one that's bringing all these- Save your words until we meet Eomir face to face. Hewen is waiting for us. She- She needs to know of our progress. Okay, all right. Only two fights on this one. Let's see if we can do them. Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. We got this one for sure. Yep. Let's go. Come on. Oh man, come on. Come on, come on, girl. Come on, come on. Yep. Oh, yes. Go. Get him. Yep. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah. So close. Hold on. Okay, Entendre went down like. Everyone must pay a price. Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. There you go, human. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Get them. Get them, all of them. Come on, take them down. Yep. 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 Nice. Just needed the fallen king. Oh, somebody else for the king. Well, victory is deserved. Check what out. Bro, my Isle of Golds are legendary. No one can beat my Isle of Gold. My Isle of Gold is amazing. I got top tier Isle of Gold game. But what, did you guys post something in uh, in guild chat? I'll have to look. Nice. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Come on. Oh, no, we almost had him. Shoot. All right, all right, all right, hold on. Okay, uh. The world needs balance. Me. 
Excellent crowd control. Well, victory is deserved. Ah, lovely. Okay. Nice. There we go. Lovely. Okay, and now we head back.
Alex's bad news. Please, this was his lead. The pretty one. I it's going good, stop. man. Plot's moving. We had to kill the bear. Deepest apologies. We couldn't save your friend. There's no need to apologize. He wasn't your responsibility. Thank you for bringing back his lead. All leaf bears bury the deceased companions. I wish to bury this lead. We'll accompany you. Carry the leaf. Oh, I see. Not that leaf. It's a different leaf, but good call. Yeah, then she'd get wet, but... What exquisitely gentle magic, thank you. That's nice. Come to protect. Don't worry, your delivery's coming up. We got this now. And For sure.
Did we just run out of time? I didn't see that. Okay. Hmm. New foes, new challenges. There we go. Shakir just hasted the whole team. Come on now. Come on. Kill him. Yes, he's gone. All right, good. Okay, Hewan, come on, heals. Heals, Hewan, heals, 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 heals. There we go. Yeah, Shakir. For the win. Shakir, baby. Love him. Woo! Nice. The Father King. Well, victory is deserved. Delivery's coming up. Nice, you got the heal. Just burly. Not soon enough, I guess. Damn, we can't even touch these guys. Oof. Alright, yeah, we might have to come back to this. I just can't do enough damage. 
Wow. I mean, if we really wanted to struggle and hack it out, we probably could, but it ain't worth it. Trust me. We'll just come back when it when it is. Uh, what do we got though? We got something interesting. Nice. One thirty-five. Not bad. Uh, sure, warrior equipment. Let's boost some of this shit up. Yep, give me them boots. Yes, sir. Yep. And what? Helmet? Sure. Real crit resist? Absolutely. Again, the 10 levels is how we're going here. With the 10 levels. That's why it's worth it. Looks great. Okay. Thank you. I was born of the Taran River. It's my duty to protect all the creatures that the river nurtures. But I couldn't even protect my friend. My reign can only slow the spread of corruption. That is the only thing I can do. Oh, Hewan. useless. No. You tried your best, Hewan. Don't blame yourself. The villagers of Taran fell sick from drinking corrupted river water, and Granny Fennel needs your dewdrops to make medicine for everyone. For sure. You're the only one who can help us. But if I hand over the dewdrops, I won't be able to continue this reign of purification. The corruption will worsen. I don't want to see people suffer. But I also can't let the corruption continue to spread. What am I supposed to do? Hewan, a drop of water cannot change the course of a river. You're not fighting alone. You have us. Please have faith that we will find a way to restore not only Lover's Wish, but the entire Vaduso Mountains and the Dark Forest to what they once were. I'm not alone in this, am I? Hewan, we want to save this land as much as you do. And the people in Taran Village need you very much. Yes, I believe the words you speak. If this is what it takes to save everyone, then take all of my dewdrops. I'll be here waiting for your safe return. And please return with some good news. You're back. Did you find Hewan? Mm hmm. Yes. The. I'll brew the medicine right now. Please help me distribute the cure to everyone. Sorry, let me Thank see what you're you saying, Johnny. So Ajani. much. Uh. Is most of the lore from AFK Arena? No. Uh, a lot of it is, well, 
yes. So the lore is from AFK Arena, yeah. But the story that they're telling is not related to much of AFK Arena or anything like that. Yeah, so the story is all from Journey, but all the factions and the history and everything is from AFK Arena. Yeah, there's nothing new here. It wasn't in AFK Arena, if that's what you're asking. No. Yeah, it's all from AFK Arena. Um, and usually the stories have a lot more to do with, like, you know, like famous families and rivalries and the factions and that kind of thing. And this story is very um, kind of just, you know, Aemir is was a new hero that they created, new character they created. Uh, he didn't exist beforehand. Uh, and the Lucent Tree didn't exist beforehand. This whole, like, Avatar plot um, is just is is just journey but all the cool stuff all the like the bigger ideas and things all come from afk arena yeah all the factions um all the historical characters and that kind of thing thank you for your help outlander i didn't like outlanders before that was my fault I was being too narrow. And this whole idea of Wilders not liking outsiders, that's not well Is this medicine? Thank you, mister. It's they came here to get away from persecution. So there is that to it. But they're usually a very friendly My people. Daughter almost lost her life. Thanks to you, she'll live. You have my You are the saviors of Taran. Aw, thanks guys. Everyone is slowly recovering. There is a school to the northeast of Lover's Wish called Jade Lake Academy. What other polls do you get? Quite uh, a few children there. And I'm worried about them. The Although Stargazer polls? A great teacher. Them it shows you in there what else you can get. I've it's like another batch of medicine uh, just in case. Sometimes you get essence, which is great. Go to Jade Lake Academy? Mm, nothing. <sighs> the teacher at Jade Lake Academy is very knowledgeable. Tell the people at the Academy that you are a friend of mine. And I'm not sure what Jade Lake Academy is either. That's not from AFK Arena. Uh, I was wondering when I first heard them say it if they were talking about uh... no they're not though this is like a wilder academy so the astral academy is like the school for mages in Asperia which I think is maybe what they tried to rename in this one the serene lyceum or something I'm not sure exactly but uh, this is new the Jay Lake Academy can we? We're friends. Granny Fennel sent us. No, our teacher told us not to accept things from strangers, even if the stranger is a pretty lady. I love that girl. I want to use her for a thumbnail. She's so cool. This chick. Look at her. She's gonna make a great thumbnail. You guys watch. Bubby. Right? Isn't she good? Yeah. She. I was just going to say, she looks like you. She's got that spunk if your hair was purple. Yep. <laughs> That's right. I don't want it. Oh, man. The shy little bub sprite. It's a bub sprite. Look. It's all right, children. She's an old friend of mine. We haven't heard her voice before. This is new. Please take the medicine she brought. It'll make you feel better. If you say so, Miss Florabel. It's so bitter. Finish all the medicine and I'll give you your favorite candies. If you don't take your medicine, your stomach aches will get worse. 
Please listen to me. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it, it tasted bad. But my belly feels better now. Oh. Oh. Now that you've taken your medicine, why don't you all go rest by the tree for a while? Miss Flora Bell needs to express her gratitude to these guests. The teacher that Granny Fennel mentioned really was you. Aaron, are you finding it difficult to practice the way of the sword? There's a haunted look in your eyes. He's always had that. Do you know him or not? <laughs> Things have not been easy. Flora Bell, you should have already guessed that something is wrong in the Dark Forest. Otherwise, we wouldn't have come to the Vedusa Mountains. It's been a while, Laika. You did not even greet me properly. Alas, after graduation, you no longer see me as one of your schoolmates. How I miss those days when you used to admire me and follow me around all the time. You were like sheet moss on a rock, clinging to me day and night. You're misremembering. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot that you were always crying on my shoulder about every little thing. Wow, this is the first time I've seen Laika at a loss for words. Hey, you're Lawson, aren't you? <laughs> You've grown. Did your sister miss me after I left the Dark Forest? Your poor taste in jokes is as bad as ever, Florabel. <laughs> I thought you would be more reserved once you became a teacher. What are you talking about? The kids love me. You won't find another teacher with a youthful mindset like mine. <laughs> anyway, old friends coming to see me is one thing. But meeting you, Magister Merlin, is an honor. This is the first time we've met, but I've heard a lot about you. Wait, we've all heard of Merlin, but none of us guessed his identity on our first try. How did you know? I'm the one who told Flora Bell. <gasps> Arden! was here. Look at this man! Killing it. Lawson? This guy's the goat. What did you just say? <laughs> uh, it's great to see you again, Master Arden. Goated. Hmm. I must be losing my hearing. I swear I heard you call me an old geezer. <laughs> uh, yes, you misheard. Anyway, we've been looking for you everywhere, Master Arden. Who knew you were here at the Jade Lake Academy this whole time? Uh... Flora Bell was in a bit of a bind, and I was worried about the children. No wonder the Jade Lake Academy wasn't... It really is amazing that Sir Anthony Hopkins was available to, to play Arden. The area. Compared to Magister Merlin, our enchantments are cruel. You seem to know that Eamir is making a mess of the Dark Forest. Why don't you go back and stop him? Lawson, I'm too old to fight Eamir. That is not the way. A vision has told me that there are other things I must do. According to Granny Donnie, there is a direct way to pray and communicate to Miss Arte hidden in the Veduzo Mountains. Is this true? That is right. According to my studies, the legendary place where Misate occasionally reveals herself is in Ivory Shade. It's northeast of the Veduso Mountains. This is so cool. There is a legend that claims the Wild Mother herself blessed this sanctuary. Ivory Shade's inhabitants are cut off from the outside world and tasked with guarding the altar of Misate. Only there can you see the true form of the Deer Spirit. Journey to Ivory Shade and ask Misate how the Dark Forest can be saved. This task I set upon you. But Master Arden, Ivory Shade is just a legend. No one has actually been there. Are you sure? Lawson? Go they make Lorsan such a putz in this, and, and he hits. shouldn't be. He's Take actually a very smart man. And, and they make him a total east. dweeb in this game, and Zati it's just not fair not to him. That's not who he is. While danger befalls the tree. If you lose your way, just look for
for the butterflies on your journey. I'll be here when you all return. That's an awesome, awesome uh, addition to the story here, but... I just wish they would treat the characters like their real selves, like Laika and Lorsen and even Arden in some ways are just not themselves. I don't know how else to say it. Um, like Lorsen doesn't need to be the butt of every joke. Like he wouldn't be. That's just not who his character is. Oh, whoops. AFK stages. All right, well, we can do that. There's Hewan. All right, we should be good now. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, really? Damn it. All right, I can manual this. Hold on. Um, and maybe even... Let me just have fun for a sec. No, yeah, we need someone tanking, I guess. Or not. Come on, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh man. Kinda almost. Uh, let's try this. Let's try. Do, do, do. started just all get spread out too much and people don't die is what's happening like it should be ah, shit man all right let's get uh change the artifact one more time
Yeah, we gotta get rid of uh, homegirl up top. Okay, here's the plan. The world needs a balance. Is she dead yet? Get her dead. Come on, guys. All right, she's down. Ah. That is how you use Rainer. Boy, Igor's annoying, huh? <laughs> Squish that little mosquito. Oh my god, stop the madness. Come on, please kill him. Jeez. All right. Woo! So this is the setup I had to beat that level just now. Is Carolina kept freezing my guys and fucking shit up. She was like their biggest damage by far. So I brought in Rainer here and threw Shakir over to their side with him using Rainer's ability to side swap. Uh, at which point Carolina appeared right here. <laughs> so my guys were able to focus on her. Also, I had originally I had it set like this and then I set this so that... Uh, CC would be closer to her so that uh, she'd be able to do damage directly and human wouldn't get hit by her. Then human's launching heals to keep people alive, etc. Um... These guys shouldn't be nearly so rough, but you never know. Let's uh, let's try the same thing, but let's bring Cass over. Looks like. The precedent, though, is the back left for some reason for him, so let's uh, do it this way, I guess. Or no, you know what we could do? We could do this. Yeah, I like that. That works. Oof, too much damage on CC. Holy crap. Boy, they're doing a lot of damage now. Getting up to 500 is going to be rough. Without getting more levels. Dang. All right, well, let's try tanking it per normal. Like a normal person. Hewing down. Don't worry. Everyone up. Oof. All right. Always, I'm always using two of, or one of each faction. Constantly a struggle to get three of the same faction these days. I, I always find myself using one of each. I don't know why that is.
Holy crap. Okay, hold on. Let's see what this looks like like this. It's 490, like a famously rough one, because it looks like it. It's like basically what I'm using. Yeah, that is literally what I'm using on it. Like that. Except you turn Pato into uh, a tank. Easy, man. Come on. Yo, I don't know about this one. I will take her. Damn, Shakir down already. Crazy. I think we're gonna get it with the extra human, maybe. Knock on wood. Come on, CC. Come on, CC. Come on, CC. There you go. Yep. Kill him. Kill them. Kill her. All right. Phew. Dude. 
That was rough. Thank you, Luffy. Phew. This wolf, I tell you. Running off getting his self killed. All right, Johnny. Thank you for hanging, man. We'll see you soon. What was that? Damn it. That was like kind of close. That was like kind of close. I think we got this. Yeah, I just need to manual her thing over here so that she's not getting fucked up in the backfield. That's all that needs to happen. Eh, we got it. Maybe. Maybe. Damn, they're good, dude. Damn, they're good. Let's go. Fuck them up. Come on. Fuck them up. Let's go. Oh my goodness. They're good. Come on, Cece. How do they keep getting out of that? This is madness. How does it keep escaping? Oh my god. These fucking plant squirrels are gonna be the god of the death of me. Are you kidding? Come on. All right, all right, we'll go again. Let's go again. Okay, now I gotta slow that shit down because. Okay, yes. Fuck him up. Yes, that's what I need. Okay, I think from here we got this. I just needed to kill that one first. Let's go. Yep. Kill him. Let's go. Kill him. Come on. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Justice. Justice.
boy CC and Smokey are working really well together. They're like putting in work, man. I mean, look at them, but. All right, I have an idea for this one. This one looks like it might be a good candidate for the old Rainer swap. Okay. Okay. Nice. Come on, get it. Come on, kill it. Come on, get it. Come on, kill it. Come on, kill it. Come on. Kill it. Come on. Oh my god. Come on, kill it. Come on, guys. Okay, it's dead. All right. All right. Rainer worked. Rainer worked. We're working. We're working through it. Let's go, Danger Gray. Come on now. changed artifacts for that one I think right yeah to the healing artifact it's powerful wow we got this one with Smokey going down right at the start so basically with four heroes that's good here yeah look at her oh shit though they do a bunch of damage dude damn never mind oh my god yo <laughs> if case stages are hard these are no joke man do not do not underestimate these when you get this far ahead of yourself i guess so we're i mean we're not that far we're well, it's a 50 point gap, 50k combat score gap. So 211 and we're 164. But still, this one's nutty though. I don't think it's gonna stop him, but we're gonna try again. Okay, all right, we got Thorn in between them. That's a good plan. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get Muriel down. She's down. Get these suckers down. Come on, get them down, get them down, get them down, get them down. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, that one guy's down. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we renewed. Yes. Ah! Aha! Squeaking it out. <laughs> I love it. All right, one more to go. Just one more.
we gotta get rid of you and Hmm.
Get her, come on, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, come on. No, it's gotta be more organized than all that. Okay, one more time. All right, let's see if that works. So he took out Cece at first. Scoot it all over here. We scoot it like this. better. She's down. Dude, <laughs> this is fucking hard. Uh, we do that. Buff up our tank a little bit. Nope. No. 
shit. I don't know what kind of rolls they were getting on that super low one, but like, not these, dude. They're just getting plowed. Okay, Arden's down. <sighs> it's ridiculous. I cannot, I like refuse to believe that that guy beat this. <laughs> what, what, what fucking artifact was he using? Certainly not the star shard. What was it? Chains? Where the fuck did he get chains? Oh. Duh. They're fucking buying it. Ah. Okay. All right. All right. Because, like, that's by far the best artifact for pushing content. And I'm going, like, how? Because <laughs> he bought the chains artifact. That makes more sense. I'm like, how is he dealing with this back DPS with these fucking heroes? <laughs> ah okay. Yeah, man, I don't know about this one. This one is... What'd they do? Okay, he used iron wall, iron shield. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's see this guy's thing one more time. Let's see this one. What level? What level? 120. 120. 110. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm in. We've got these heroes. These heroes we actually have. Well, he's got a much better CC, but so that's going to make a difference. But ours is 130, so that'll be the difference. Okay, so we can do this. All right, what's he doing? What do we got here? What's going on? All right, you can't watch the replay twice. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see it. And boom, okay. I'm sure I saw that, but one more time. Okay, all right. That's classic, okay, all right, we got this. Wait, oh no, wait, what's it, where, where did he send his, I gotta see where he sent his, uh, where does he send the first CC uh, uh, pet? Okay. All right. Yep. Struggle busting like us. Okay. Let's see it. We can do this based on that. Okay, so this is just over a little bit. So we're doing this now and this. This is how I had it earlier. This is how I had it like on my own. We weren't using, I don't think we were using iron wall shield though. Okay. And then we're gonna put, uh, CC back up top. Okay, let's see it. That easy, huh? <laughs> it's that easy? <laughs> well, good. <laughs> well, good. 
<laughs> oh man. Easy peasy. Oh, thanks, Sky. I just saw what you said. May as well get another pull or two. See how far we can push it. Iron wall shield's very good, huh? It really is. Asthma going down. Yeah, it really does. I agree, Sky. Yeah, I'm at 120 roster with one CC is 130, but that's it. And like, you can tell I've got some room to push still, for sure. What server are you on, Sky? Oh, nice on the Brutus. Server 30. What's it like there? Crowded? A lot of competition at the top? This is madness. <laughs> they might actually survive it. Come on, CC. Come on, girl. Why not? Oh, no. The snow. The crystal. Ah, six seconds. Oh, well. We can come back to that. It's okay. Let's keep pushing. I want to hear this story. All right. Shine stars. The constellations guide us to victory.
Oh, cool, the telescope area. I know this place. Very good, very good. No, what are you going? No. I can't wait till Lorisan is a playable hero. I want him so bad. May the wind and frost unite as one. Every sword is a witness. Hmm. Okay. If K stage five forty five, all right, all right. Well, that's a push and a half away. Got plenty of stuff to mess with tomorrow. Several chests, too, which is awesome. Right on. Yeah, it's rough. It's, I don't know. I, I mean, I probably would have done it anyway, even if I didn't have my free to play account that's so big. But, um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's definitely not ideal for anyone trying to f play free to play and, and feel good about, you know, achieving things. Like, um, Yeah, probably the ideal free-to-play experience is to find a an obscure server where there's not crazy competition and build up there. I agree. That's definitely the way to do it. Um, I am lucky enough, I guess, to have uh, to have started early enough to where my account on. PTR1 is massive, so it doesn't bother me as much that I play here. This is S1. <laughs> this is the biggest of the big. This is S1. Um, yeah. Did we kill this yet, by the way? We did. Baller. Uh... Oh good, and we're still on top, okay. Yeah, so, uh, where was I trying to go? Yeah, there are huge accounts. We, we don't, we have big ones. There are even bigger ones though, in the other guild here. So this is, these are my guys. This is our guild. 24, 26, 24. Big boys. 25, 25. 20. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Zebo and I are are both free to play. <laughs> But the other guild has, I think, people into 30s. Let me see. That's what I was really, that's what I came in here for earlier. Uh, so here's us, we are, we are staying on top, but then we've got, uh, yeah, 32 and 33. Crazy. Yeah. Um, and yeah, being being in a top guild uh, as a free player is going to be very obviously very difficult too. Um, we came in all together and brought some guys in. Once we got here, you know, we got applications. Um, and uh, you know, I have a thirty million free to play account uh, on PTR one, so sort of like comes with my you know with with the if if I were to apply and I'm the guild leader so I didn't apply but if I did that sort of is like part of it so uh it's tough man I get it uh I do like I, I've got no I mean I'm in like the top let me see for for dream realm I don't even think I'm I don't even think I'm top 20 percent dude 33. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I got. I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. It'll work. Just hold it. We're fine. Uh, what? Then I, I, I'm not. Okay. Uh huh. That girl from Laika's childhood at the school. Oh, yeah, she's kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah, I agree. I hope it's not as well. I, I totally agree with you. <laughs> I fully... Florabelle? I don't know. I mean... Ah. She... She could be cool. I don't know. I could see it. I hope it's Lorsan though. That's what I want. It's Lorsan. What's wrong with a good Nice. Sleep? As long as I'm safe. Solid. Other desk. I, 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 it's not okay. Also, any stargazers you can get your hands on, you should. They are that hard to come by for us. Hmm. 
Both techniques and tactics are indispensable. Optimal training results. New food is coming. <laughs> My little baby keeps growing. Mm -hmm. Hey, hi, we Windows. <laughs> I do stream at Twitch, but I'm doing YouTube today. I, I am trying to do Twitch on the weekends and YouTube here. But I just, in general, to be honest, like, I get so many more people here lately than I do on Twitch. I'm, I want to be able to go back to Twitch and do it all the time, but I, I think I'm going to need to wait a little bit longer until I've got more people that know, you know, what I do. Um, I think this series of, of videos that I'm doing with Farlight should help a lot. So hopefully that'll, that'll help. But I do, I love Twitch. I love being on Twitch and I tried it again this last weekend and uh, I just, there's just so many more people over here when I stream. So... Have I got my Rainer yet? Yeah. Um... <laughs> that's that's true. That's a good point, Sky. <laughs> that's a good point. Um... Do -do. Yeah. Do I have my Rainer yet? I don't know. Um. Yeah, I have my my copy. Sure, I sure do. Um. And then uh. Let's do some arena real quick. And then I want to flip over to my other account. Actually, why don't we flip over to the other account real quick? And then uh, I'll come back and do that. So S this is me right now, S1. And then this is me on PTR1. Uh, but we should be able to get a level. Which is great. Mm, it's already eleven here, I didn't know. That's funny, Sky. Yeah, I started on Twitch. I did it backwards. I started on Twitch and then grew and came to YouTube. And then I figured that out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a lot of great uh, people at Twitch, though. I hate being gone from there. But nobody comes. Oh, I know the other thing I wanted to do on my global account was um, Lone Gaze. We got to go do that wolf today. I want to show you guys. I think I have the best free-to-play um, wolf attack that I've seen. So... But, um... Sky, this will make you happy. This is my other free-to-play account.
And as you can see, I do have Rainer Mythic, Mythic Plus. Perfect. Balance. Hmm. You guys are here for a special day. Wait. Yeah. Oh, wow. This day's been coming for a while. Check this out. Hmm? What's up? Looking for me? A whole EX level on Merrily. <laughs> Oh my god. These are way too hard to come by. That should not have taken me like a month. It's crazy. So I have um, 19 S plus heroes on my main. And Nice, we got a level. 352. <laughs> but we definitely need more to do at the end. At the end game. There needs to be a lot more to do, I think. Because there's not much. There's just competing at Dream Realm, you know? And battle drills, obviously, but um, I'm right over here. Battle drills is like, well, they just revamped it, so hopefully it'll keep growing into something more interesting. Uh, we really liked the original version they had this whole last year, and then they changed it in like August. It was kind of a bummer. It was a big bummer. It was a huge bummer because we were we were just starting to figure out new things about it six months in you know the the potential for strategy was massive and then they added the new thing and like there's things about the new one that are nice but um i think they really need to return to more of what they had in the originally This is terrible. No, 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 no. What am I missing? Action needs no emphasis.
Um, Yeah, I think I want to use Cassidy here and Corin. So, come on, you'll need my spear. Corin down here. Who else needs a little pick me up? This is for research. My waves of knowledge will crush you! There we go. Now we're now we're moving, huh? From the first one. <laughs> Come on guys, good god. Those ads were up for way too long, dude. Oh my lord. Come on. Perfection needs no emphasis. Top 20 on PTR1 there, but that won't hold. Let's try it again. Those ad phases were terrible. All right, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, go, 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 go. Nope. Damn. Okay. Um. Perfection needs no emphasis.
Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's go get him. That last one. Get that last dad down. All right. Yeah. Now let now unleash. Let's go. Okay. Now we're at 50. I've done like 54 before. I can't remember how. It's maddening. Oops, I don't know how that happened. I think there must be a button you can click to go down to 1x because it happens to me a lot when I don't feel like I was clicking anything. Hey, Eddie, my man, right? Yeah. Oh, apparently that's not the. Apparently that's the highest I've ever done just now. I thought I had done 54. Well, there's 52. That feels good. So that's the highest I've ever done. Okay. Um. So that's something. It's because I don't have Scarleta is what the top guys are doing there. They're using Scarleta in there as well. So, um, I am close to uh. Paragons. Not quite there yet, but I'm really close to being the first free to play with Paragons, which would which will be so rad. I'm I'm hopeful. I don't I don't see I don't think anyone on the other PTRs is particularly close. So just gotta keep at it, man. Um What HP does she have? 53, okay. So you wouldn't want to use Vala. Got it.
just made the best choice. Got it. My waves of knowledge will crush you! Perfection needs no emphasis. Just made the best choice. Whew. What a tough fight. The most beautiful flowers can have the sharpest thorns. experience a bit of luck.
All right, sorry. Guild stuff. Uh, so... Let's... Probably swap back over. Yep. Go up here. Oop. From one free to play to another. And Lone Gaze. That's it. I want to end with Lone Gaze. So, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, let us end with a run at Lone Gaze so that you can see Where's he at? There he is.
4.6, not bad. So I was wondering if she's the one to have it 130, but it certainly looks like it is, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Sir Aff holding it down for us and Ash. Nice job, guys. Or UD's right in there. Sam, Frisky, Zath, Grudy, Lyric, Atom, Zethrion, squeezing in from X. I love it. And Squeezy. Well done, friends. Extremum, hell yeah. Sigma right there on the edge. You guys are killing it. Uh, so that's the biggest that I've been able to pull. Uh, I believe that that is about the highest uh, that any free-to-play is doing right now, unless they've just gotten really lucky on some pulls and gotten, like, a really, you know, uh, advanced hero somehow. But I I don't know. I think that's probably pretty close. Um, one thought I had was maybe trying to use Coco to... I don't know, last a little longer and beef up the attacks some. We could use Coco instead of Kruger, maybe. But, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I mean, she's as advanced as my other heroes, right? But, um, CC is my best damage. Now, if I swap that to someone else, I, I don't think that... Here, I guess let's try that, too, huh? Let's try putting it to... Eddie or Smokey or I'm not sure I guess probably Eddie maybe Vala Vala is good here right I think Vala is good in this let's try Vala instead of Shakir maybe and put her to well I don't know man let's try it sure let's try it why not Bella went down. Damn it, it was going really well too, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought we were gonna best the last one, I thought. It was close. It was it was getting close, for sure it was. Yeah. We still might. I mean it's gonna be like about the same, I think. Yeah, no, not quite. Okay. But that was really good. That was really good. How much did Vala do? Let's see. Let's see how much CC went down. Okay, so, okay. Now, let's try. Okay, so the last thing I want to try today, so we had three tries, is I want to try keeping Vala up at the level, because obviously it helped. And, uh... Because CC only lost 300, right? But I bet it gives Vala more than 300, that level. 
and let's take Eddie away and put Shakir back in because he's got that that melee buff, right? Where he spins around and stuff. Um, and let's see how this does. Here it goes. Okay. And again, we've been talking about this a lot today, but Vala does mo the most damage when an enemy is below 50% of their health. So because uh, the Primal Lord is down where he is, see, he's under half health already from us working him for a week or so, and like we have been on the server. Oof, yeah, we're in good shape here. Come on now, come on, keep going. Let's keep going. Oof, come on, come on, come on, CC. Come on, fight back. Come on, CC, fight back. Come on, come on, CC, fight back. Come on, CC, fight back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him off of you, get him off of you. Come on now, come on now. Come on, CC, come on, girl. Yep, come on, guys, come on. Yeah, this is, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're pushing now. Oh, we're pushing now. Let's push, 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 push. Come on, guys, come on, come on. Give me five, give me five, come on. Come on, guys, come on, show me five. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys, come on, come on, go, go. Oh, oh man. It's got potential. <laughs> now I'm thinking maybe if I put CC as the top. Look at Vala. So there's some RNG involved here for sure. But now I'm thinking maybe if we put CC as the top leveler, she could do it. Or maybe we put Shakir as the top. It's hard, you know. And, and as I get by tomorrow, I'll have at least one, maybe two more heroes that are leveled up so we'll be able to do even more but if you're free to play and you're getting more than this i'd love to see it i want to know about it um and one more time just to go over what people are doing so smoky has got uh attack buffs he's buffing everybody who's attacking um oh i can't show you on here anymore okay um we'll go through the heroes real quick so Smokey, it yeah, has you all right be more careful <laughs> be more careful Do, do, do. So he grants 30 haste to all heroes affected by the aroma on his second cast of it, right? Um, maybe his third cast of it. Maybe. Yeah, so his third cast, he, allies get 30 haste. Um... He's also increasing the attack of all allies within the aroma by 16%, by 18% at all times. 18% attack boost to everybody in the aura, plus on the third cast, it's uh, 30 haste. And he's healing. Then you've got Kruger doing his debuffs. Which are great. You want to tango? Gotta sharpen my axe. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, uh, Jim Cumming, the voice actor. Uh, each stack of his attack reduces the physical defense of the target. Lowering their, their physical defense, so that's going to help... Uh, you know, all of your, your attackers. Um, it even seems to help Odie, which I don't quite understand, but it does. <laughs> yeah, I don't quite understand why that is. <laughs> Thank you, Sima. That is true. Very accurate, indeed. Um, but so Kruger seems to really improve the attacks of uh, Eddie as well, which I don't understand because Eddie does magic damage. So Odie, God name. Gosh darn. Sorry. Um, Odie. No, his name's Eddie. I'm not going to call him Odie. That's not his name. Uh... 
anyway. Um, and then pulling Eddie out actually oh. seemed to help, uh, and we added in Bala. So our best team was with Bala in and uh, at 130, along with... Well, actually, I think technically we did slightly better with the first pull, but I, the team seemed way stronger, the, the one that we just were using, which was Vala in for Eddie and uh, Cecia at 120 with Vala at 130. But anyway, we were using Smokey, Vala, Cecia, Shakir for his buffs, who has excellent team buffs. Shakir has excellent team buffs. I love his voice. His voice actor, I hate. I absolutely hate the voice actor they chose. But the one thing I like that he does is when you first click on him <laughs> and he's all, ha! Huh! <laughs> Wait. Ha! Get a taste of this! Ha! Get a taste of this! <laughs> Uh, Shakir generates a lupine aura in a range of two tiles while in a wolf shape, dealing damage to all enemies. All allies within the lupine aura reduce 20% of their damage taken and increase 10 haste. Reduce the ally damage taken by lupine aura by 25% and increases their haste by 15 Allies within the Lupine Aura will get uh, give him five percent attack. That's nice. And he receives way damage reduction if other people are in his aura, which is awesome. I love that about him. All right, I hope you guys feel like you learned something at some point over the course of this. I had fun doing it. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with a number of videos and uh, more to come. I'm gonna get the, the next lore video out. We'll be out, well, I wanna say tomorrow, but definitely by Thursday. We'll see, we'll see. So, and if you haven't seen the first one yet, check it out. It's uh, my first collaboration with Farlight, and I am looking forward to doing many more. We've got four more lined up so far. So uh, next one coming soon. Thank you all for hanging out with me. <sighs> Analytica forever. Stay safe, Experience.
god, fucking Lucius. I, oh my god, Lucius. Oh my god, fucking Lucius. Uh, Hewan was dead. She was fully dead. She was completely and utterly, completely fully dead. This is outrageous. This is just, this is nonsense. This fuck. Oh my god, Lucius. Uh, underrated bastard. No, every time, look, every time she's about to go down, he hits her with the shielding. This is madness. Ugh. The AI on Lucius in Arena is savage. It's so good. The Arena AI on Lucius is absolutely savage. Go Rainer, out of boy, get him out of here. That's how you use Rainer in Arena. <laughs> Good night, yo. back there.